Hey everyone, this is Andrew Embler, CTO of Concrete 5, and I'm going to show you how to take a theme you've made for Concrete 5 and package it into the Concrete 5 package format. Uh, the Concrete 5 package format is the format used by Concrete 5 in our marketplace, um, as well as any developer who wants to uh, bundle up bits of Concrete 5 code for redistribution. Uh, some benefits uh, aside from that include the ability to give a version number to a particular set of bundled code. This can be useful because you can version new bits of code and content uh, and functionality over time and write upgrade and downgrade scripts between them. So it's really a helpful tool for people who deploy Concrete 5 sites as well. Um, but uh, definitely the most popular use of this format is the Concrete 5 Marketplace. And anyone who wants to get a theme into the Concrete 5 Marketplace would do well to understand how that works. So here is my blank Concrete 5 install. And if I go to the file system, you'll see I can go into my application directory, and then down into themes. And you'll see we've got the theme that I've been working on for this series of screencasts, Urbana. This is in my local application themes directory. If I go into my Concrete 5 site, into pages and themes, you'll see that this theme is available for installation. So this is one that I've been working on locally. I've got it to a place where I think it could go into the marketplace or I want to put it in the package format for some other reason. So let's get it in there. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is go into the packages folder here, root, and I'm going to want to create a new folder. Uh, let's make sure that this folder name is going to be likely unique to the package that we're working uh, What does that mean? That means uh, you, know, you don't typically want to give this folder a name where it might conflict with something else that you have. So um, unless you own the core namespace like we do, uh, using something like calendar or e-commerce or discussion is probably not a great idea. Um, for my particular example, since my theme name is Urbanic and that's fairly that's fairly uh, you know, fairly unique to this theme, I would imagine around the web. I'm going to give my package a handle of theme underscore Urbanic. And the reason I'm going to use theme, this is just a sort of strategy. Um, the reason I'm going to say theme here is because packages can contain all sorts of different stuff. Uh, they can bundle up multiple bits of code. Um, a lot of times they'll just be one block type or one theme. But since there are all these different bits of code can live in this packages format, just choosing the name Urbanic for my package directory may not be that useful a chart. I don't know if that's a block type or some kind of new image gallery. So the fact that I'm choosing theme, I think is going to help uh, developers who might find this package in their packages directory and wonder what the heck it is. So I'm going to choose theme Urbanic as my package handle. Um, package handle is something we specify in code. It's got to be unique across all the installed packages on a site and it has to match the directory. So I've got my, uh, I've got my blank uh, empty directory here and I have to put two contents in this directory to sort of get started. The first is going to represent the icon of the package. Historically, this has been a uh, 97 by 97 pixel uh, PNG file named icon.png. I've got a helpful one here that I made, icon.png. So I'm just going to copy that guy in there. Um, in 5.7, it's less important that this is exactly 97 by 97. Uh, it's more important that it's just a, a square icon. So the aspect ratio is unique across the width and height. Now I'm going to add a file for the most important. Uh, now I'm going to add the most important file in a package. This is controller.php. This file specifies information about the package, like its current version, its name, uh, the handle that matches the directory name, and it also takes care of installing the package and uninstalling the package if the package has any special things it has to do when installation happens. So I'm going to copy over this file. Uh, just because it's so nicely named. And I'm going to open this up. And 
then I'm going to go through the contents of what this is. Normally you would, uh, normally you would write this yourself, obviously, um, but I've already written it for the purposes of this tutorial, and I'm going to go through each of the um, each of the components of this this uh, controller file line by line. line, by line. The first thing you're going to want to notice is the namespace. Uh, again, the new Concrete Five Seven. All of our sort of classes in, in 5.7 are namespace now, and they follow some some pretty uh, some pretty solid conventions across. Uh, the, they're they're pretty pretty well standardized. Um, so this uh, the namespace for the package controller is concrete backslash package backslash the camel cased version of the handle of the package. And generally, anything that you include in this package that has a namespace normally is now going to be prefixed by this. Um, and that will become more important in a moment when we go back over one of the particular aspects of the event theme that actually is namespace. We're going to have to actually change one of our corner spaces to get this thing to install. Next, we have a couple use statements. And in PHP, that just basically means we're going to import the usage of these classes into this class. Um, pretty standard PHP stuff. Um, now the name of our class is controller and it extends it extends the core uh, package package object. And uh, if you've ever done any Concrete 5.6 development um, or earlier with packages, that's probably fairly standard. Um, the only thing that's different is the namespace. Next, we have, we're using the Concrete 5 uh, theme class here, and that just means that we're going to use this object somewhere, this class somewhere in our code. We'll get to that in a second. Now we have three bits of sort of core metadata about a particular package. The first is its package handle. Um, you need this. This always matches the directory name. The second is the app version required. Um, this determines, this specifies the absolute minimum version of Concrete 5 that this package can be installed on. If you try and install it on something earlier, it will give you an error message. And then this version is the version number of this package. On your first release, you don't have to set it at 1.0, you can set this at anything you want. All that matters is that subsequent releases are higher than the original. And anytime you are, uh, anytime a package appears in the file system that has a higher version number than the one that's stored in the database for that package, uh, we think that it, we need to upgrade that package. And we present an upgrade screen and we run through the update method or the upgrade method in this package. Next, we have two required methods, and these just return the package description and the package name. And you'll see that in listing screens on the dashboard. And finally, we have the install method. This is the entire method that takes care of installing the packaged version of our theme. So the first line is going to be the same on basically almost any install method you write for any package. This line takes care of installing the actual generic Concrete 5 package object for this package and giving you back an instance of that object, which you can then pass in to all of the installation methods that you use inside your install method. So you'll notice I'm using that theme class that I imported earlier. I'm running the add method on it, and I'm passing uh, Urbanic as the name of the theme, because that's the uh, theme directory that I'm going to, that my theme is in. And you'll notice the second variable here is package. If I didn't pass this in, Concrete 5 would look in the application directory to install this theme. But since I'm passing in a package, it will look in the special packages directory. And just as importantly, if I uninstall this package, the theme gets registered with the package that I installed it with, and it will automatically uninstall. So that's very important to not forget. And that's all I need to install a theme with my package. And uh, if it were a block type, it'd be 99% of this would be the same you just be doing a little something different here. Now that we've got our controller set up, let's move the theme from our application themes directory into the packages, into the packages directory. 
The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to actually need to create a themes directory in our package. That's because each particular package is sort of like a mini version of the application directory or the concrete 5 core um, containing only full directory versions of the stuff that it installs. So I can't just dump Urbanic into the root here. Um, it actually, we actually rebuild some of the concrete 5 file structure by including the top level themes directory. So I'm going to open that directory here. And I'm going to go back into my application directory into themes. And then I'm going to move Urbanic from there into my package themes directory. And then one last modification to make. Um, I don't have to change any of the paths in any of my include files. Uh, Concrete 5 takes care of all that. But I do have to change the namespace that is found in my page theme class. That's because, like I said earlier, anything that has a namespace, once it gets moved into a once it gets moved into a package, you're going to need that package's starter namespace at the beginning of that segment. So hopefully that will become a little clear with this example. So you'll see my page theme class here starts with application theme and then urbanic, which matches my theme. Since I'm now in a package, I'm going to swap out application with concrete slash package slash the camel cased version of my package. And I keep theme and urbanic. Um, if I were doing this with block types, it'd be a very similar, uh, be a very similar process um, generally. And that's all I need to change. I don't have to change any of anything else, just the namespace. So let's give it a try. If I go back to my themes page, you'll see that Urbanic is no longer available to install from here. But if I go into Extend Concrete 5, I will see that the theme package is awaiting installation. And if I click Install here, it refreshes, package has been installed. And if I come into Pages and Themes, you'll see that Urbanic is here awaiting installation and I can activate the theme just the same way I can. And that's really all that it takes to package up a theme for Concrete 5. Hopefully this has been helpful and see you again real soon.